hello 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 first and foremost welcome back to the channel guys it has been an astronomically long minute since i've been on here but life is still moving on and by the time i post this video i will be at my one year anniversary of my locks being installed or oh, my starter locks okay i'm gonna do a little 360 so you can see what my hair is doing what it's looking like and then i'll continue on what's been going on with my hair okay let me get a little closer Other side. The little babies. The little babies. Look at the length on them now, guys. Same on this side. Look at the length that's on them now. And the one in the back. Right above the collarbone. One in the front. If I stretch it, it's under my chin. All right. How's everybody doing? Hit me in the comment section. Let me know how your year has been progressing. It's almost over for 2023. It went just like that. I hope everyone has been blessed. So let's get into this video. My most recent retwist was just this past Tuesday. Today is November the 4th. So just three weeks shy of my lock anniversary date, which is November the 22nd, 2022. I just did a retwist on Tuesday. And what am I doing different with my retwist now? First and foremost, I am not trying to keep my parts crisp. Mm -mm. We ain't got time to be doing all that. It takes too much time to keep that in order. I probably take a good still six hours to do a retwist on my hair but before it was closer to nine i'm getting better i'm getting better what did i stop doing that is making this process easier first and foremost after i wash my hair i leave my hair in my sections that i did the light uh, braiding and banding on them and i place the parts where i want my hair to fall or straight to the back for the retwist. So I start in the back, work my way down. And I don't take those sections out until I get to that section. So that way I don't have a head loose of hair tangling itself up as it dries. We already have enough of the marrying at the roots that caused me a problem. Okay. The banding helps with that a lot, but the longer you go in between my retwist personally, which is anywhere from four to six weeks, my gray hair is wiry. It's all over the place. And I get a lot of marrying at the roots. So I've been trying to push it to five or six weeks, but I'm noticing I need to do a retwist or some type of separation after four weeks with my hair. Okay, the, one of the first things that I start doing is I stop combing my hair at the roots after a wash day before a retwist. Before, I was using the rat tail comb to comb it down and then retwist, palm roll, da-da-da-da, clip it. I stopped doing that because it occurred to me, why am I untangling my new growth if I'm trying to lock my hair? Crickets, I'm waiting. Why am I untangling my hair at the roots that's tangling up, which is what locks is, tangled, matted hair. Once I stopped doing that, I started noticing that my hair was locking better right up here. It was locking more because I wasn't untangling it. So that speeded up my retwist because I didn't need that rat tail comb anymore. I don't even use it if I needed to separate at the roots. I use my fingers, spritz it with a little water or a little rose water just to make it more pliable to get it loose without breaking my strands. And guys, I am not fully locked because you can still see. Look, look, look. See all that? See all that fuzzies? My hair loves to dance with each other. And I can have some tangles towards the ends of my hair 
where it's not locked, it's still open and everything, where it gets tangled really, really bad, and I cannot get it a loose. So I do have to sometimes get the scissors out and clip it where it has connected together. It's taking much, much longer to lock my hair. Miles has a much more tighter curl pattern, more coarser hair, so he is locked just like that. His is phenomenal. But mine is taking a little bit longer because of my looser curl pattern. So it's tangling more at the ends. But as you can see, as it goes up, I have more or less of the fuzzies. And I'm going to show you what I did to help with all of those tangling. Because even with the locksmithing and the palm rolling, the frizzies would unravel and they would connect together. So I was dealing with breaking my hair as I tried to pull them apart for wash days and to retwist. So what did I do? I did the little tiny crochet. In other words, I had to go through the areas of my head where it was really, really bad at, like I just picked up one that was connected, but it came loose. What I did was the areas that was really, really bad where it was connecting together with all the loose hairs, I ended up doing instant locks on them to get them to stop tangling where I would break my hair, which could eventually cause my strands or my locks to thin out over time. So that is where I'm at right now, guys. And you can see the loose hairs at the bottom. Once my ends close up, that is when I will be fully locked. I don't expect that to happen anytime soon because of that. I only wet my hair up on wash days unless I put some oil and rose water in my hands and just scrunch it in. Just scrunch it in. I'm still using the Design Essentials products, the shampoo and the deep conditioners. The only other thing that I have been doing, I have been using my henna souk hair wash and co-wash and I mix them in with the design essentials. We still got to be doing something where I'm playing around <laughs> with Ayurvedic uh, elements. So I put those in and they work out phenomenal. My hair is very, very soft. I have noticed in the last few months that just rose water and a little bit of oils keeps my hair softer than mixing aloe vera juice, rose water, essential oils, and then my oil blend. Just the rose water and my oil blend is keeping my hair more pliable and softer to the touch. I steam my hair maybe once every couple of months, but I deep condition almost every wash day. Same to the, what is it, the peppermint root stimulating design essential deep conditioner mixed with the Almond Express moisturizing one. Mix them together really, really good. Put it on the ends, really watery throughout my hair. Sit under a shower cap for about 20 minutes or so and then rinse very, very well before I go into my retwist. Okay. And the bends that you see in my hair is because of how I wear my hair on a daily basis. I very, very rarely wear it down and loose like this, except when I do not have to go to work. So I eat on my off day or on a Sunday. Otherwise, my hair is pent up in some kind of style. And I'm going to put some clips at the end how I've been wearing my hair in different ways. But this, the crimping that you see in here, has just been basically been my puff cuff. Love this thing. Because it's loose enough, I just gather my hair and the ponytail back there, put the puff cuff on, and then the side ones, because they're mainly the smaller ones, I've still been using the goody ouchless clips. Love these. All I do is gather the little ones here, pin them up there, both sides, and then I take a little bit, bring it up, and put the puff cuff right there. So this is essentially how my hair looks pretty much every single day that I go to work because I'm constantly bending over. I might have a jacket on or I pull my hair all the way up and put it up into a higher ponytail to get it off of my neck and shoulders heat wise at the work manual labor job. 
and to keep it from rubbing up against my cotton clothing, especially if I don't have on something dark because I don't want a lot of lint into my hair. Okay, lastly, guys, I'm going to turn around so you can see the back once again. I'll do some separation on my hair. As I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not trying to maintain my parts at all. Maintaining those parts means I'm going to have to be moving hairs from this lock to that lock, which means my whole goal is just to keep the parts crisp. I don't, I don't need that. I just want my hair to stay strong. So if that means this strand wants to go with that lock, then that's where it's going to go because I'm not going to pull it out, potentially breaking my fine, thin strands of hair just to keep a crisp part. I think my hair is looking phenomenal even without the crisp parts. If I want the middle part, I still got a middle part. I still got a middle part. If I want a side part, I still got my side part, and I'll go from there. I'm not worried about anything intricate far as styles and all of that. So I'm going to lean forward. And as you can see, the gray hair is real. The gray hair is real, but I don't mind it at all, guys. I don't mind it at all. Same thing on this side. Same thing on this side. Okay. Now the longer ones, of course, all the way down to there pretty much that's one of the long ones and these are my little shade shade sides <laughs> from way back when and you can see the difference maybe what about six inches maybe look at all that connecting here about six inches difference but that's okay it'll catch up i essentially have a bob on my hands and as my hair gets longer in a few years i may cut the longer ones to meet up to the baby ones on the side. So, so far, so good. Now, the baby ones did phenomenal. They lock in much faster. So, guys, if it's anybody out there that's thinking about locking your hair and you want to wait until you get more length, don't wait. Lock it now. I wish I'd have locked my hair probably about five or six years ago instead of playing in it, breaking it off. I'm loving my locks. Yes, reties and retwists take time, but just imagine, if you only wash your hair once a month or once every couple of weeks, once my hair matures, I wash more often because I'm not in danger of unraveling. But right now, washing my hair and taking six hours to do a retwist in one day versus a detangle, uh, style, deep condition, all that good stuff every week or every two weeks, taking four or five hours to do my hair... I'll take locks any day. And as you'll see in just a moment, my favorite style is a rolling, roll, tuck, and pin. I am now able to do a roll, tuck, and pin on my hair. I'll share that with you, how it looks in a clip at the end of this video. Just to let you see what it looks like. That now, how I was styling my hair when I kept it in mini twists is the same way I can style my hair now with my starter locks or mini locks guys so thank you for watching guys enjoy the rest of the little clips in the video and i'll see you in the next one guys bye bye be blessed one year update with my locks see you in the next one hi family welcome back okay this is just one of the styles i like to wear on the regular of course i have a little bit of my hair pulled out in the front just to have me a little bang fringe on my left side your right side and then across the top here, this is a halo of a uh, big flat twist. Let me get closer. And essentially what I do is I just pull the front part of my hair pretty much at my ears and bring it to the front, gather a piece here, flat twist this all the way across. And then I use my goodie outlet barrette to hold that in position. Then I'm going to turn around in the back. And that is just a puff cuff 
to hold it. Now, right today it's in a ponytail, but sometimes I do gather the ends up and tuck them under to make a little ball in the back. And then sometimes I just do flat twists all the way across my head and let it hang on this side. If I put that style in before I post this video, I will also share that. But this one right here is one of my favorites. Other than the gray hair and potentially my dark circles, when I have this in, it reminds me of a little girl running around playing outside. And look at the swing time. I didn't think I was gonna have this so soon. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Unless I put in the other styles, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.